Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101. In this video, I'm going to cover one of our new features for deploying private publications. This may come in handy if you want to create a newsletter for something like investor updates for your startup, or if you have a staff or employee newsletter for your company, a teacher newsletter for a classroom, or some other situation where you may want to publish content to a specific group of people and you may not want that content to be publicly accessible. To access these features, you're going to go to Settings, Publication, and then scroll down to these two check marks where we say Private Publication and Requires Subscriber Approval. Each one of these is going to modify the way your newsletter behaves in different ways, and I'm going to explain those now. The first option for Private Publication will make sure that your publication is private and can't be viewed by anyone except for anybody who is a subscriber and is logged in. I'm going to disable the require subscriber approval item and go to this test site. And you'll see that it has the name of the newsletter logo, but it says private content. This newsletter, this is a private newsletter. Only subscribers have access and I will not be able to read anything. Now, if I have some about pages up here, you can still access those. But if I try to go to a categories page, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the setting that it's private content can't be viewed. If I try to click this, it will let me out. So just to give you an idea of the capabilities, certainly just be aware of these before you start building. If you do have an about section or something like that, you may want to remove that and so forth. So in this case, you're going to just be able to hide post content from eyes that you not want to see. The next step that we're going to cover, the next use case is going to be going back to the settings and we're going to check this other one for require subscriber approval. Now, what will happen is if I go to that private publication and I go to view site, it's still going to say that it's a private newsletter, but now I can at least request access to join. So let's say I type in EJ plus video test at beehive.com and request access. It's going to give me the approval notification, or I should say, it's going to give me the notification letting me know that my submission has been received. Then if I go to the subscribers, I can now see that there is a new subscriber that needs attention. If I click into here, I can approve, deny, unsubscribe, or delete. We'll say approve and now I'm a subscriber. So that's the second use case. The third one we're gonna go through is if we go to publication and we don't make it private, so it's a public publication, but we're gonna require subscriber approval to view, we can now turn off the top one and we're going to basically go through the process and show you what happens. So with having a user required to approve, you can go in here and type in EJ plus approval at beehive.com. Now, if I do this, it's going to actually drop me through the normal signup experience. So this is great if you want to create like a private community. You can have the signup be pending approval and require that users submit some information through this signup form before they're able to actually get access. So if we go here, let's remember day, and then hit submit. It's going to then redirect me to the recommendations and any boosts that I have active and then to the upgrade page. And then it'll allow me to take me to the newsletter. So at this point, the required, the approval is still required, but I was able to go through and basically have an opportunity to go through an upgrade and all of those things. And so if I now go back to the dashboard, very similarly, we're going to go back to audience and then subscribers. And now we're going to see that this one, again, needs approval. As a user, I won't be able to actually see any content until I'm approved. That way you can create these kind of private invite only or application based private communities for content. That covers the use cases and how you can leverage these settings for sending and setting up private publications. We look forward to seeing what you build and uh, let us know what you think about this feature in the comments. Thank you so much and have a great day.